notice it, and I knew that you had a... <clears throat> No, this is my daughter's shadow. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Earl Holloman is uh, one of the stars in a new Walt Disney television episode. It's actually a two-parter, and it's called Smoke. Earl, what is Smoke? Well, Smoke uh, is a dog, actually. Uh, but Smoke is the story of... Uh, it's a beautiful story. It's a two-parter. And it's a story of a family who's lost their father, who's died. And uh, I'm the new stepfather. And it's a uh, similar thing happened to me when I was 14 years old, which is the age of, the, of uh, Ronnie Howard, who plays my stepson. It's his inability to be able to accept a stepfather. You know, he feels that the, the man is taking his father's place, right? And he, it's a natural feeling. And uh, he turns to a dog. He finds a dog and gives that dog the love. Uh, and looks for the love in that dog that he feels he's not getting at home. It's a very, uh, it's a nice story. I think a lot of people who watch Disney, and it's always a good show, I think they'll be surprised at what a, what a human complicated, uh, involved, uh, two part of this is. Are you a dog lover yourself, Earl? Oh yeah, I always have a dog. I have three now. I have what a do you have? German Shepherd, uh, Shadow. He's a, when I got him, he was vicious. Nobody could get near him. You know, now he's like a puppy. I've had him for almost 10 years. And now he's like, you know, people, kids hug him and squeeze him. And then I have a sheep dog, which I found on location when I was doing Wide Country, a series I did uh, for NBC. Uh, and then I was down in Mexico and brought a dog back this past Thanksgiving. I was down there doing a, a thing called uh, The Legend of Joaquin Murrieta, which is another uh, world premiere special that will be on your, your station soon with Ricardo Montalbán. Uh, and I brought back a little mongrel named Sheila. Oh, she's, she's something else. She's really, uh, I've had a hundred chances to get rid of her. Yeah, but I, I like dogs. She what does out. she look like? She looks like... Uh, Nothing you ever saw before. <laughs> well, I tell you, she's, uh, if you did a drawing of a dog, that's what she looks like. You know, she has a beautiful, uh, beautiful lines, and she looks a little like those dogs that used to sit, like you see pictures of pharaohs. There's something about, there's a very grandeur about her. She's, uh, I don't know how she got to Mexico, but she's really a beautiful dog. How do your other two dogs accept her? Well, they love her. They really love her. Except right now, she's... Uh, in a condition, and she <laughs> so it's a problem around the house. But uh, oh, she's yeah, dogs, anything, I, I, anything that moves, I like. What else are you doing now? I, because I presume that you have completed shooting this two-parter. Yes. Well, right now I'm uh, in the process of uh, filling in some time by rebuilding my house. But uh, I don't know what I'll be doing next. Uh, I think uh, some television. I would like. Uh, I would like to do films. I did about 19 films before I ever did any television at all. And it's interesting, you play everything imaginable and suddenly you do one television show where you're, you're a cowboy and, and they, they type you as a cowboy actor. But uh, I don't know, I, uh, I've done a couple of series. Hotel de Paris uh, was another one. Hotel de Paris, uh, I played a character called Sundance. That was the first series I ever did. Uh, I swore I'd never do another one, but I don't know, that seems to be where the activity is today. It's interesting, uh, I'm 40, I'll be 41 in September. And I'd like to be. It's just as easy to be to be kind of half wealthy as to be poor in, <laughs> in this business if you're lucky. And uh, I think I'd like to be one of the wealthy ones. Yeah. So I might do another series. If you were one of the wealthy ones, how would you uh, would you save it or would you splurge on things? I don't think I'd splurge. I I uh, no. It takes money to live. You know. And, uh, you know, I, I do things that... Would you indulge yourself with maybe one little luxury, Earl? I probably, you know, I seriously, I, I don't mean to sound altruistic, because I'm not. Uh, I'd be selfish on my part, but I'd probably end up with a, a ranch someplace, and I'd have, you know, every stray dog, because uh, that I ever, I, I have a terrible, I finally know when I see them on the street, you know, I don't look. <laughs> because, you know, you see a dog, and it's horny, you think, well, that dog is lost. You know? And I used to end up with dogs in my yard, you know, and I'd be calling the pound, or I'd be calling the various, trying to locate the owners. I don't know what I know. You know what I think you'd end up doing? You'd end up having the world's largest humane society run by Earl Holloman. Possibly. <laughs> you like animals? You like that? Very much. I had a Dalmatian for 15 years, and it just tore me up. I still get teary-eyed when I have to talk about that dog, you know. But I have a, I have a Palomino mare, so... Do you? Yes. You, are you beautiful. Yes. Are you a horse lover? I love horses, but I don't have any. I don't, I don't live where I, I could have any. Well, you see, when you get to be one of the beautiful, wealthy people, that's Earl, that's what <laughs> you can, I can do. Buy you can buy a, No, not mine. Not mine. She's not for sale. <laughs> but you can buy somebody. What's her name? Her name is Susie. S-U-Z-Y. And I'm very, uh, you know, definite about the Z-Y.
rather than S-U-S-I-E. Well, if you're going to do it, you might as well be definite about it. <laughs> Earl Holloman, thank you for talking with us today. Thank you, Bobby. And we look forward to seeing Smoke, a two-parter on the wonderful world of Walt Disney. Thank you. Are we off? Yeah, we're off. Very good. All right. It's so fun. I was kind of dreading to go. I sure do.